Hey beautiful souls, I'm Alice aka Breathing Magic. This is going to be a short and sweet DIY video. I've been looking for a pentacle for my room for quite some time. I want to put it on my wall grid, I want it for protection, for the aesthetics, I just want one. I couldn't find anything I liked online so I thought why not just make one? I mean witchcraft is a craft, why not do a DIY, get crafty. So I filmed the entire process. Feel free to follow along if you want to make a pentacle of your own. Alright, without further ado, let's get crafty! The items I'll be using today are a wreath made of twigs, some pieces of twigs, some thread, and a pair of scissors. I started off by cleansing all of the materials and tools with incense. I think energetic hygiene is very important and I wanted to cleanse away stagnant energies and or negative energies that might have latched onto these items while they're being created or being handled at the store. The next thing I did was cut 5 pieces of thread. I didn't want to measure it with a ruler so I just eyeballed it. Each piece is roughly a little bit longer than the length of my palm. Then I took a good look at my twigs and picked out five that were about the same size. These are birch twigs and birch is often used for protection. So these are the ones I chose. I ended up picking more than five because I wanted backups. After that, I trimmed all the twigs. Time to make a star! Finally! Yay! I assembled and arranged the twigs to create a star, aka pentagram. And by the way, some people call this star within a circle symbol a pentagram. Sometimes they call it a pentacle. I think they're used interchangeably, but I prefer to call the five-pointed star a pentagram and the star within a circle symbol a pentacle. And if you'd like to know more about the star, the pentagram, and the pentacle, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a separate video about them. When I was finally happy with which twig goes where, I started to tie them together. I tied them in the exact order I usually draw my stars. After I finished tying them together, I trimmed the ends. The final step is secure the star onto the wreath. I measured and cut five pieces of thread. And this is what I noticed when I started tying the star onto the wreath. The twigs will start to move around as you're tying the thread. So it's important to always check that the star still looks like a star and adjust it as you go. Don't wait till you're tying up the last piece of thread. It'll make your life that much easier. My pentacle is complete, now I can decorate my wall grid with it. So this is the end result, a cute little pentacle. I'm really happy with this, I had a lot of fun making this so I'm thinking I should do more witchy DIYs, I mean they're super cute, they serve a purpose, and they give me in that witchy vibe that I love so why not? 
And if you want to see more witchy DIYs like this, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notified when I post new videos. You know, the whole shebang. And if you do decide to make a pentacle of your own, remember to tag me if you post any pictures or any videos. I'd love to see them. Alright, thanks for watching. I will talk to you in my next video. And until then, live from your heart and be the magic you wish to see in this world.